Hey, Braden, obviously a, a disappointing result tonight. Your thoughts on uh, the team's play from your perspective? Yeah, obviously, any, any loss is frustrating. Um, you know, when it's a trend to the past, it's a little more frustrating. And we got to, you know, figure out a way to have, uh, you know, top to bottom myself out. Um, better performance tomorrow. Um, you know, this, this year is going to have, there's going to be a lot of, um, quick adjustments, and, and we're going to have to make sure we do that for tomorrow. Next question, let's go to Ian McIntyre. Hi, Braden. The, uh, the team had seemed to make a lot of progress uh, the last week in cleaning up its game and not having the kind of turnovers uh, that it had tonight. I, I don't know how many breakaways and two-on-ones you faced, but there were a lot. Did that surprise you? Did because it looked, you know, that the Winnipeg game was your team's best, and it seemed like you were kind of had figured things out. Did it surprise you that things went backwards tonight? Um, you know, it's not really my job to be surprised, or it's my job to to be prepared to play. Um, you know, I think uh, when you look at uh, you know look at that trend, kind of, I think it's a little less about. Um, us figuring out our game the last little bit and more about us playing the Canadians. Um, uh, so obviously that's where the trend is and it's gonna, we're gonna have to change. We gotta make sure we're, we're better. Um, you know, they're a good team, but you know, in order for us to get where we wanna go, we gotta believe we're, we're the better team. And um, you know, that starts from our leadership and uh, to make sure that, you know, we know we have a, we know we have the talent to succeed. Um, and the personnel. It's just uh, you know using university like this to to push it forward and not backwards, and that uh, that falls on especially the veteran guys to lead the way um, to push and push us in the direction we want to go. Thank you. Next question to Ben Kuzma. Hey, Braden, communication is a big deal when you you come to a new team. I'm just wondering on, on the first goal, you you play the puck, uh, goes behind the net, and then it comes back out into the slot area. Is that a communication thing between you and the D men? And what actually happened on that play? Uh, no, it's uh, it's a shot off the boards. Mm -hmm. uh, their guys racing towards it too. I'm just trying to seal the post in case he gets it before I do. Um, you know, poked it away, didn't poke it far enough, and he uh, was able to find the guy in the slot. So uh, a play like that, there's not much uh, communication. That's just more of a battle um, kind of thing. And uh, I haven't really seen it again yet. Uh, but, you know, any play, there's there's ways to break it down and, and do, it, do it better next time. Thank you. Hello. Jeff, you with us? Yeah, hi, Braden. Uh, fourth time in 12 games now that the team has given up 40 or more shots. I know earlier in the season, some of the guys explained it away as keeping the opposition to the outside and not giving up the scoring chances in the middle. But did this one look and feel a little different from your perspective tonight? Uh, yes and no. Um, you know, I, I'm not a real believer in shot quantity. Um, I've said that before, but because uh, even if you look at this game, um, you know, aside from the couple breakaways at the end of the third, I thought the third was our best, you know, defensive period in that way um, up until then, and probably gave up the most amount of shots. So um, this game is about chances; it's about quality. Um, so shot quantity is uh, pretty useless. That. Thanks. Here with Daniel Wagner. Uh, Braden, you mentioned that the trend is really the opposition. That's the Canadians. From your perspective, what are you seeing that is causing this problem where they're causing these turnovers and, and breakdowns defensively? I think, uh, you know, first off, that's really not my department. My department's to, to be prepared, but uh, prepared to stop the puck. Um, but you know they're a team that pressures. I think they, they pressure at at their blue line. Um, you know when we have the puck and uh, you know to beat that you got to simplify. And I think um, in order for us to have success, we play a simple game. Um, we have guys that can work, guys that can 
can play within a system. And, um, you know, if we have some guys not doing that, some guys doing it, it doesn't work very well. And we've seen that in the past. I think that goes for any team. Um, I think it's against a team that, that wants to pressure and wants to kind of go, uh, the simpler, the better. And, um, you know, we know that now we just got to go execute it.